All right, so I'm going to be talking about um, what's been going on in the YTBC and um, also what's been going on in, like, my Facebook. Like, I'm in this group called uh, Thunder Dome Boxing Group. I'm, I'm only in it because <clears throat> I don't see any, any other uh, YouTube channels, like, putting out, like, a like a Facebook group. I think T, T Street is. I need the link for that if you know that one so I can get in that group. And if it is a good group, let me know. Uh, comment below. Um, I've been seeing a lot like of pictures floating around, you know, with like Floyd and, and and his muscles getting bigger. You know, I'm gonna put that picture in in this uh, YouTube uh, video too. So this um, this uh, trainer, his name is um, let me find his name, Angel Memo Heredia. I guess the, he's the one that like trained um, Marquez like with his fourth fight with Pacquiao that ended up like getting Pacquiao uh, which ended up getting Marquez more strength to knock out Pacquiao because that's all he needed was a little strength. Now um, let me comment about this. Uh, Alex Riza is now made with this. Uh, strength trainer so as you can see like I'm looking at this picture um, where Floyd's hitting the bag I'm telling you right now this is not photoshopped I grabbed this off of his, sh his shots his muscles are looking pretty huge I can't wait to see him like during weigh-ins to see if this is for real but all I know is that if his strength is going up you best believe that Pacquiao is going to get knocked out like I can see it already because Floyd, Floyd, if Floyd's not watching Pacquiao's fights, I know Alex Ariza is. You know what I'm saying? Now, Alex Ariza knows why Pacquiao got knocked out, like, his fourth fight. So, obviously, he's telling Floyd uh, to watch a clip of what Marquez was training to do to knock him out. And it was this counter punch... Um, that he did like he was training for it like I could tell he'd been always hitting Pacquiao with it since uh th like three fights before even um who's one guy that just fought Pacquiao let me search it up real quick uh, I don't even pay attention to these guys names because they're so unimportant to me <sighs> okay one second Yeah, Chris O'Jerry even hit him with that shit, you know what I'm saying? He hit him with that same kind of punch. And, like, if he had enough power, I'm telling you, he would have been... I mean, Pacquiao would have probably got dropped, you know what I'm saying? At least once. But anyways, now, back to what I was saying. Floyd Mayweather, right, is training to build his strength, supposedly. I don't know if this is true or not. Okay. Now, the odds of Pacquiao winning are very slim. Like the only way I could see him really winning is if like he fought uh, Floyd. Like how um, this one dude fought Floyd. Like how Marcus Madonna fought him. Like he needs to be dirty. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he was like that, which I can't see him doing that because he's a clean fighter. Plus, he's not, he doesn't, like, um, he's not, like, he doesn't grab a lot. Like, he, I see him spar. He looks like he's a fair fighter. He's just going to come in with a lot of combos, you know? Um, Floyd's going to take advantage of this. And since he's a nice guy, Floyd's going to really, like, put something on him for real. Um... I I don't believe that Floyd's on steroids, but if he is, you know, let's say he is, right? Uh, you know how they say that um, Usada is in Floyd's pockets, right? Now, if that's true, then that means they're gonna let it slide, right? 
comment below if you feel that way. If you, a lot of people say it's true because like the the evidence goes to Mayweather Promotions, so they could just like reject reject it, you know. But like now, Pacquiao has uh, one of his guys um, paying one of someone in his camp to spy inside, like what the Usada's been doing. So like that can't go, that can't slide, you know. If they do, they're gonna you know rat on Usada that they're cheating. Floyd, so you gotta erase that possibility right off the way, you know. Now, uh, if Floyd was on steroids, no, and he and he and somehow he they hit it from Pacquiao and and Floyd knocked him out, that must that that's car that must be karma because why would that happen to him, you know, like why would something like that must mean that Pacquiao was doing it and he deserved to get knocked out like I see it like that like what goes around comes around you know and pa pa everyone said everyone thinks that Pacquiao was doing is in this fight because of money but but lately he's been saying he just wants to fight for legacy so we'll have to see I'm gonna put I'm gonna do more videos um I want to talk about like my reactions to like a lot of these videos that I've been watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, uh, you could just subscribe. And if you are doing videos yourself, let me know. I subscribe to all YTBC channel. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna end this video now. It's probably bad because I've been taking long pauses here and there, but I'll get better. So yeah. Um, also, too, like, if you guys want to know about, like, good channels that I, I, I watch, um, I'll tell you some, like, right now. Um, subscribe to Thunderdome Boxing, because he's a good channel. Like, sometimes he's fair. He, he's always on Pacquiao's side, like, because he wants Pacquiao. When he feels Pacquiao's going to win. Um, if you don't already know about 78 Sports TV and, and, uh, there's this other channel name. His name is uh, uh, what's his name? One second, let me find it. Okay, cause you guys need to subscribe to him. Like he's the one that motivated me to do this video. Seriously. Um, did I favor him? Shit. Let me check. Damn. One second. I think his name is D Block Express. Uh, one second, let me check. Yeah, D Block D Block Express. He's going for Floyd. He's another good um, uh, boxing channel. Uh, also, too, like another one. He's like a lot of people call him Flomo, but you know what I'm saying. I don't. I don't think he's Flomo. Like I just think he he's just a Floyd Mayweather fan, and that is um. Uh, what's his name? I'm looking through my subscriptions, so. I just want to say their channels correctly. I don't want to, like, say it wrong. Uh, Dante's Boxing Nation. He's another one. Um, uh, let me see who I can't really name any like Pacquiao like channels because like a lot of them like I, I, I'll subscribe to them but I don't like click on their videos because they're so like one-sided with no knowledge you know like Th Thunderdome Boxing like comes up with like mad knowledge so like he's the number one channel I would say and go to his boxing group too uh his Everyone in there, like they, they, they crack you up. They, they be cracking you up, like with these posts that they put you putting in. Um, I just want to stay in this group. So when Pacquiao does get lose, when when Pacquiao loses, I just want to like laugh in there, you know, laugh inside that group. Um, this video's going long. Oh yeah. Um, also, uh, go to uh, this guy's name is uh, Jay. 
um, J10 neck so up I should put the links oh I should put the names below if I don't I will later like in the future J10 neck <laughs> it's a weird name but yeah I heard him in um, 78's video also boxing eagle too boxing eagle is sick Christina was sick uh, but yeah anyways um, go through J10 uh videos as well um, he, he, a lot of people hate him, but I think he's cool. Um, what else can I say? Oh, yeah. If you already don't know, I'm going for Floyd. I put money on him, so, like, you guys cannot change my mind about how Pacquiao's going to win because I already know Floyd's going to win. Like, if he doesn't win, I'll be shocked. Like, I hope it's not, like, robbery. You know what I'm saying? Like, what they try to do with, um, 